Good morning and welcome to a brand new beginner guide series where we're going to be talking about Wombat Dungeon Masters. We're going to be breaking it down to an, into a number of different beginner's guides where you're going to learn everything that you need to know in order to be able to play the game. This video is going to focus on just an overview, giving the lay of the land, the map of everything that's going on, uh, so you can get started and have an idea uh, of the different parts of the game, and then we'll go ahead and break it down in future videos. When you first log into Dungeon Masters, uh, you're going to see this screen here. You have two choices. Technically, you have more than two choices, uh, but two things I would recommend that you take a look at first. First, check out the Learn More, because that's going to give you a lot of great information uh, about the game. It just gives you an overview. What you, A lot of the stuff we're going to cover in videos, uh, but if you just want a quick reference guide, you want to jump back and see different equipment and different things like that, this is a great guide that they have there right at the, the entrance of the game. Uh, the other thing you're going to click on is the play now or the game. They both go to the same place. They're going to take you right over here to the game itself. So let's talk about the different parts and the different aspects of the game. First of all, in order to be able to play, you're going to go ahead and want to equip or get a bunch of equipment for your Wombat. Every single person uh, that plays Dungeon Masters is going to go ahead and get essentially a free Wombat to go. You go it's really only single player. You can't have multiple Wombats. Uh, you're really going to have only one. When Dungeon Worlds comes out, it's going to give you the opportunity to do multiple. Uh, so you get one free. And in order to access your equipment, there's a link down here on the bottom left. Go ahead and click on that, and you're going to see your Wombat. And you're going to see a number of different slots here that have all different types of equipment, that have all different types of uh, bonuses or features uh, that really help you improve your character. Uh, you can... you basically can play without equipment. You may want to definitely get some lower level if you're brand new, uh, but they, they all provide different features. And if you go back to that, that learn more page that I showed you, uh, there's a whole list of uh, the equipment and the characteristics. And we'll have a separate video specifically talking about this where I can walk through this in a lot more detail. I just want to show you the area. So you go ahead and equip your equipment. Uh, once it's equipped, you can go ahead and jump between different equipment that you may have, whether it's different features, different rarities. It all depends on what you're looking for. Uh, to unequip it, it does take 24 hours. Um, so you just keep that in mind. Once you have something equipped in there, you do have to unstake it, which takes a little bit of time. Uh, in this section, you also have room for sidekicks. You get one sidekick uh, slot for free where you can go ahead and get an NFT sidekick. And then the second one does cost some Wombat. Down here, you're also going to see your clan if you're in a clan. And then down on the bottom right, there is a menu for a whole bunch of other sections, which we'll talk about here shortly. The one thing I did want to highlight is there is a blending area where you can go ahead and take a, uh, a number of pieces of equipment plus a womp wombatodium. I always say that wrong, sorry. Uh, and blend it to either a higher tier, basically a higher level of that item or a, a different higher tier piece of equipment. For example, sometimes you can put three or four, sometimes five uh, pieces of equipment together to jump up to say maybe a legendary. Uh, so it's a nice chance if you have a whole bunch of extra equipment to go ahead and upgrade it through there. Uh, we'll have a separate video diving us through that area also. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the main screen by clicking the button here on the top left to show you some other areas that are in here. Uh, up here you have the wonderful piece of candy that is given to you every 24 hours. What this does, it gives you a 10% bonus uh, when you're running the, the missions. Uh, I should say the runs is what they call it in, in Dungeon Masters. Uh, it lasts two hours, gives you a 10% bonus. They give it to you every 24 hours. And if you're looking at this screen, just walking you through the, the basics of this, the top is your level. You obviously start in level one and you upgrade and go up from there at different experience points by doing different runs. Uh, the next is your staking and we'll talk about this more. This is the VIP level, it gives you different bonuses, it gives you uh, material mining bonuses, also gives you, if, depending on what level you're at, whitelisting, packs, season pass, things like that. And then as you're moving down, you have uh, your resources that you earn throughout a season. We just kicked off season nine. Uh, so you can see my, my, my season points are a little bit lower just because we are literally one day into it. Uh, this first one is season points. You essentially earn every day that you put con contributions in, you earn towards uh, 
your, your season points. And at the end of the season, you're going to get a whole bunch of rewards from it uh, based on depending on how many points you have in there. Next is the Wombat bonus. This is actually a new addition midway through last season. Uh, if you get over 35,000 contribution each day or uh, part of a day, you'll go ahead and get a bonus of Wombat that you get rewarded to you at the end of the season. So you can see that this can add up pretty high if you're meeting that standard every single day. And then you have the different resources. You have gold, you got uranium, you, you got iron, and you got coal. And you basically you take those materials and you're going to go to the shop that's in the bottom right here and I'll show you that here in a second and you can go ahead and produce different different uh, items that, that help you throughout the game. Moving on down here it shows you what season is. It's season 9 and there's 41 days left uh, and then you have the pull reward. That's basically the overall reward for the season and then you have the NFTs that you have hidden. What the hidden means is it's basically NFTs that you have staked. If you click on this it's going to go through and show you the different NFTs that you have staked. You can see I have 99 Wax one staked, and I have six EOS one staked. Uh, we'll have another video going through all this, but essentially you have the ones that are staked that give you different bonuses, um, additional mining power towards certain harvested materials. You can go ahead and take a look at the high-level NFTs that you have uh, associated to each of the types of materials that you produce. You can see that I have a lot towards uranium, but only a few towards gold. Uh, and then it has the mining power here. That, that's essentially how much rewards you're going to get for every time you make a run. Uh, and then this button here allows you to go ahead and select additional uh, items or NFTs that you can go ahead and stake. You can only stake 100 WAX NFTs and 100 EOS. So a total of 200, but 100 on each side. Uh, so I, I have 99 WAX ones staked, so I could go ahead and add another one here if I wanted to. And then you can see here... Normally, there will be a button here that allow you to run. I'm already running a mission, uh, so go ahead and let that finish out. Uh, so it shows you the timer. Because I'm in a clan, it allowed me to my, my clan member mates to go ahead and uh, help me on this, this mission. And then here it shows you your stamina for the day. Uh, you start you, your max at stamina that you can have is 2,000, and you get a certain portion of it generated throughout the day every time you make a run. It, it uses it just similar to most other games. Uh, and then just the graphic down here. On the bottom right, we briefly talked about this earlier. We have the different sections. We have the the well, the well of wealth. This is where you get your seasonal rewards. Uh, your season pass gets activated here. Uh, if you don't have a season pass, you only get the rewards on the left-hand side as you go deeper and deeper by doing the quests. There's a little plus button here. You can go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna show you a whole bunch of different quests that you do throughout the season that earns you rewards, basically meters on the rope that lowers you down in the, the well. For example, I have 248.6 meters uh, on my rope, so I can go all the way down to here at this point in time. And you can see I was, I am very close to being able to grab the 250 level. The If you get a season pass, you can get it either by purchasing it with uh, wax, with wombat, or you can get it as a reward for VIP 5 and above. Uh, that allows you to go ahead and get also the rewards on the right-hand side when you're going down the well. As you can see, some of these rewards are pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not going to really focus on it too much, but I'm getting to the point 250. I'm going to go ahead and get a gold pack once I get to 250. Great rewards for the season pass. Also for just the, the regular well, not the season pass. There are some great rewards here too. So definitely something that you want to keep an eye on as you're playing. I jump back to the main screen. Let's go ahead to the next section. Uh, we have the seasonal leaders, which basically lets you know who's doing the best throughout the season. Uh, if you're a whale and you're doing really well, you'll definitely want to keep an eye on this. Uh, for most players like myself, uh, I don't really pay a ton of attention to it. I'm just trying to scroll down. I don't even think I'm on the top 200, so I won't waste your time with that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and check out the next one, the clans. We'll do a separate video on this because it can be a little bit confusing with the clans. Uh, but I am currently in a clan uh, where we can go ahead and help each other speed up our, our missions. Uh, there's leaderboards here. There's global leaderboards and basically stats about myself. And then here we go. We have the shop. The shop is where you go ahead and take the materials that you mine and you earn. And you're able to craft them into different items that help you with 
upgrading equipment, uh, upgrading your sidekicks and things like that, naming your, your wombat, things, nice things like that that help you really progress throughout the game. Jumping back here, last but not least is the packs. Well, we have the settings, we'll go over that too. Packs is basically if you have any packs in your inventory and not staked in the game, uh, you'll, they'll show up here. You can go ahead and click inspect and open them, them from here. And then last but not least is the settings. Uh, it just gives you a few options throughout the game where you can connect your wax wallet, connect your EOS wallet, which allows you to create that within in the game. You can switch the poly network if you want. I'm, I'm mostly a, a wax player, so I'm going to focus on the wax side. You can select the different types of payout that you want. Uh, and then you can log out and log in if you want to do it that way. So this was just a basic overview of Wombat Dungeon Masters. Uh, we'll go ahead and do separate videos coming here in the very near future where I'm going to break down each of the sections to try and help you through the process, especially if you're a beginner. I think it's really good to check out each of these different sections and details because there's a lot of little things that you don't notice at first uh, that we'll walk you through as we go through it. Uh, go ahead and down in the comments down below. Let me know if there's any specific questions that you have or if there's any specific to topics that you want me to do beginner guides on. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.